Now, if you want to customize the design of your table, you can do that as well. Let's convert it to the plain table first. I'll go to design tab and change it to plain tables. After that, within the design tab, I'll go in borders and choose borders and shadings. But remember, you have to select the data first and then go to borders and shadings under the borders option. Click on borders and shading. Now you can choose any border by default. It is like you can notice that this is of thin black lines. As we can see, you can change the style of that lining. There is dotted lining, this lining. I have multiple linings to choose from and you can change the color of it as well. Let's give it a different color so that we can notice the changes. And similarly, if I want to uh, change this shading within each box, just click on shading and you can choose any shading as well. Let's say this one and click OK. So this is my customized formatted table.